Yeah, your wife too. Yeah, I actually dragged her out. I unchained her from the pipe. Right? Who are you? Pat Thompson. Pat Thompson. Olivia, very out of Savannah, Georgia. Close to the meet you. Little town called Guy. Yeah. Well, you need to come to Savannah. Uh, I've been to Savannah. Been to Savannah? Oh, that's a really big city. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I've never been to Guyton. Guyton, it's a little small town. I've never been to 1800. Uh, 1800, yeah. There's no people here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. It's a little small. Very cool. Very cool. That's Americana. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it's called. Yeah, that's why we're here. That's today. why we, we come all the way up here from down there just to see truck wagons. It's the one cool. It this is. is the last, I mean, the only one of its kind. Right. And that's, that's sad. This should be all over the United States. They're signing States. up for next year already. Oh, good. <laughs> they still got food because I know they're all sold out here. Well, we just bought our tickets. You got the overflow, they call them. The yes. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't know you could have went online and got them. Um, I mentioned that yesterday. You must yeah. not have been watching. Well, what, yeah, <laughs> we were here. There. Oh, you already came here? Yeah. yeah. You watched them all get everything all I watched you at the house back home. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Now you oh, you're traveling through town and showing you where to go and stuff. This is what I do. That's what she does. It's here. great. Yeah, thank you. I it is. You guys it's great. Watching. You Enjoy it. You it. I'm coming over there to talk with them. We're coming back next year. This is pretty. Oh, it is. Right. Well, and I spent. Anyone want to say hello? We spent about six hundred dollars at the lodge out of it. Did you really? Oh yeah. We always do. You got a lot of cooking stuff that I assume you do. You do a lot of this? It's addictive. Oh, yes, yeah. I love the camera. Yeah, like, like yeah. That smell I got, I got the same set up. Basically, a Walmart on wheels. This literally is a Walmart. There's the spice box. There's the lantern. And this was my, probably my favorite thing on the wagon was the coffee grinder. And all of this stuff has to work in order for them to get the points they need to win the, the competition. So he showed me yesterday, this is the little cup and that's where the, the coffee goes in the top, you grind it, and it goes, comes out the bottom. That's an absolutely wonderful. Lanterns all have to work. And this is just too cool. They have all their tools. When you travel on the road or you travel on the trail, you've got to pretty much have everything you need in order to survive. The big frying pans, the extra rope, the obligatory Indian arrow that got shot into the side. <laughs> they gotta have that. There's the arrow. Because there were, it, it was very brutal in those days. You, uh, you, you had the danger of running into death at every corner, every mile. The opportunity to be killed was, was very common. Very rough life. These right here, that's what you call a cattle. The pigs that goes all the way to the back mm -hmm. and on the side. Not a cattle baron's warhouse. No, for the fact that it's the status that they are cattle baron? Well, it's, it, it was a common design for an everyday cowboy. Not a working cowboy, but just... This would be for a working cowboy. Yeah, this is more for so working. You back know by just looking at somebody down the street, a working cowboy, yeah. this is more somebody maybe who does some kind of work for as an owner. Yeah. Very cool. See, it's all about uh, and the, yeah, the flat what rim like that. Is. This is more like a businessman or a banker or something like that. And then you'll see a lot of outlaws. They'll turn it up. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, you know what the turn up is? No. That's no. for shooting rifles. If you're right-handed, you turn yeah. this end up. What that does, it keeps the powder from flashing off and hitting you back in the eye. Never. And if you're left-handed, you turn it up. Like I thought they did just to look cool. They, it, there is a reason. There's for a reason. That. Yep. And how about that? I never knew that. <laughs> well, that's, that's what it's to, so you can shoot and it also keeps the powder flash from burning your head or getting your, getting your eyes. It goes straight because up. they were using those older guns that would flash back at the moment. That's right. Very cool. A wealth of knowledge in five minutes. Well, make sure you stop being hot to talk. The jail. You want a wealth of knowledge. Now, he is a retired federal marshal. And he still has his jail with and him. This is this is a remake of a jail wagon that they had back in what they used to call the Indian Territory. Right. Which is Arkansas, part of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And they would take these and you would go around to all the different towns where they had somebody tied to a tree right. or put in the basement and they'd pick them up and carry them back to Arkansas. And that's where the judge would sentence them. In that. Yeah. Man, what a brutal way. Well, Times were tough. If you, if, you make a, if you commit a crime, that's what You do I the time. That's right. Your name is? My name is Jeff Schubert. Hi, Jeff. I'm Jeff, too. Oh, okay. Jeff, and you're on Vacation Station TV. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And you'll see yourself in your live right now. Oh, cool. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Unbelievable.
unbelievable information I'm getting here today. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Who would have? Yeah, there's the U.S. Marshal. There it is. There's the U.S. Marshal back here. That's how you do something wrong, you're gonna, that's where it's going to go. Now, this would have been pretty much, because from what I can tell, the real garb of the 1870s. You got it all. Even the Native American bead uh, chest. The hat he's got on, the history of those hats. Yes. Visiting dignitaries would give Indian chiefs top hats as a gift. Was that uh, herald as big a big deal for them to have yeah. that? Yeah. And the Native Americans. Wouldn't wear them just plain. They take them home, put feathers on, oh, yeah. decorate them. Of course. So we started decorating some hats to look like the Native American hats mm. from the mid 1800s great. to to the as late as 1920. And, and we sell right. a few of those, and he oh, likes to wear it, and he looks the part. You, you, everything looks good. Everything is We've cool. We've been coming up here, I guess, three or four years. And we sell a lot of stuff to the cooks and the cowboys. Oh, of course. The general it's public. authentic. But the general public buys a good many hats oh, and sure. things like that. It'd be a nice trend. Wouldn't that be yeah. cool? Top hats came back. It would be. And bowler hats. It that was be. popular, too. Remember yeah. the yeah, bowler? Yeah, we've got a neat bowler inside there that's decorated up like this. Because that was a Native Americans like mm, that, yes, too. Sir. That was very mm. popular. The bowler. Yes, and they're, they're very cool. They At are. one time, there wasn't a man in America that wasn't wearing that that's or the bowl hat. That's true. You remember? Thanks for talking with us. Thank y'all. Great job, guys. Appreciate really it. Really cool. Thank y'all. This is the 2020 Chuck Wagon Cook-Off in uh, Pigeon Forge. And this is just so much fun. You're having fun doing this? Isn't this cooler than cool? Uh -huh. I mean, you just don't see this anywhere else but here. Miss Marie's doing the video today. <clears throat> and she's doing quite a job, I have to admit. There's some more of uh, the chuck wagons. <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me that quick. <laughs> I told you I'd come back you guys are carved out on me. <laughs> look, look at you. The light you got. You got a it, ain't it? Yeah, and and hey, you carried all the high. Yeah. Just show him, show him one that turn that touch top ditch heaven and you'll see why I'm resting. Hey, wait a minute, they didn't have these back in 1870. <laughs> Donuts? Where they Somebody from? left them here. <laughs> hey, they're from Walmart and they were hey, made Jeff. in about 1870. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Yes. For the other Jeff. Oh. Somebody left them here, they wasn't ours. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I bet you'll eat them. <laughs> look at there. What is that? that? Oh, look at that. Oh my god, that looks as good as Betty Betty Crocker couldn't even make that. Oh, she that's why I'm resting. She doesn't have anything on this. Oh, that smells. <laughs> wow. Do you smell that? Uh-huh. Wow. What, that do, you, is what so, do you call it? It's just a cherry pie. It's a cherry pie. Oh. Yeah. That was very popular back then. Because you would pick the cherries on the trail, right? Wherever you could. Well, actually, they had canned fruit. They did have canned fruit. Oh, yeah. Back oh, yeah. in the 1870s. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back then. So what's hey. dangerous thing? They they canned tomatoes and everything back then. Uh, no, somewhere in there they changed how they soldered the can. Yeah, I, I don't remember when. Uh, but um, but yeah, I've got I've got authentic cans. I mean, this is probably. Well, you got some real stuff here. They're, they're not cans like you're used to seeing. No, I've seen these before. That's yeah. how they soldered them shut. Uh -huh. Can you get that on camera? Yeah. Let me see that. That's how they soldered them shut. And that's what condensed milk. Yeah, condensed milk. Yeah. That was very popular. But yeah, that would be that soldered. Door. See if you get that on your camera there. They would melt that, and that's how they sealed it shut. Mm -hmm. That was that was part of their. Uh, Thank you. The Union soldiers in the Civil War. That was part of their daily ration because they could get two thousand calories out of a can of, out of that in a day. And, and, and that plus that's all on you too. Yeah, plus whatever yeah. else they gave. Them, that was their main calories. Uh, tomorrow. That, that's your tomorrow. Calories. Is it tomorrow? What's that? You're gonna put this on YouTube. Well, you're on live now, and this will be up tomorrow. Well, yeah, actually tonight. I want to. I want to YouTube it. You got. You, you got my card, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I was really 
Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that. This is what you could be eating if you were here today and you got you had yourself a ticket. Look at that. How long have they been? Now, that's not out of a can. You guys are taking oh, like no. real we beans. Oh, no. We soaked them last night, overnight. Washed them and soaked them overnight. Seasoned them, put them in there. How many hours do those things cook? We started building uh, fires at five. This morning? Yes. <laughs> there was no sun up. Four. Three thirty. Three thirty. I wasn't here. I was in the motel sleep. Daryl was here. <laughs> Real cowboy in a motel sleep. How are you? <laughs> Daryl done it. Sleeping. Daryl's the other. Of course he did. Slim Pickens over there. <laughs> How you doing, Daryl? Good to see you. Tell me what you do. It is a good one. Many guys. You know, look around you. People are good. They're friendly. You know, it's, it's, it's not city life. You know, this is country life. You can't do this in New York City. Put a fire on and start cooking beans. The cook is called a coosie. And it's helpful. One more time. <laughs> coosie. Okay, I, I wanted to make sure I got that right. <laughs> yeah, like a beer. And it's helpful. Yeah, a coosie. Daryl's a Camp Hoodlum. You're the Hoodlum. Cuts the wood, harnesses the team. So he pretty much you kind of keep up. things going. He's, a, thing, he's a cook helper. Yeah, obviously. obviously. Yeah. How long you been doing this? I've been cooking for a long time. Not with her. But, but you've been doing it. Not this kind of cooking. Yeah. Smoking meat on the smoke. Oh, oh. I bet you know how to here. smoke some bone off of meat. Like meat off our real quick. I like that. I like that. Yeah. It don't take all day to do a good job. No, no, if you know you what you're doing. Properly prepare it, man. I agree with you. And it's not many people know up. that. You want that meat to fall off that bone, you gotta know how to do it. Well, you wanna be able to pick that bone up out of that meat and leave, leave it on the plate. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yes. Daryl, thank you for So who talking. am I speaking with? Oh, card. Card, card, card. You'll see yourself on YouTube. Really? Vacation uh, Station TV. Really? You're on right now. Daryl, do both. Give me Arkansas. One love, Arkansas, baby. <laughs> go home! <hold. laughs> Be right here. That's what I was talking about. That's what I'm looking for. The wow. history of this wagon and, the, and everything is it, it's registered with the uh, American Chuck Wagon Association. Does it have to meet a requirement? It does. It does. Such as? <coughs> it has to have cooked and won at so many places. Really? Under so many judges, under, mm -hmm. under a certain amount of time. It has to meet all their requirements. There can't be any screws or square-headed, I mean, the hex-headed nuts right. or welding or anything on the wagon. Like it it has to be 1870. Mm -hmm. And Who makes these for you? Have a blacksmith do this or somebody forges these, especially these square nut stuff? That, uh, you don't you find can that. still buy square nuts, but um, but they're chrome-plated. Can't use the chrome ones. No, can can't use the chrome, so I have to put them in the forge and cook that off Pull of that them off. to get an old rusty nut that I can use on the way. <laughs> they made the crow ones to get rid of the rusty nut. <laughs> True. But I, I've got a blacksmith shop and I forge everything oh, I, I need. This is your life. And, and I, I built the wagon. It was a... I thought somebody was hollering at me. It's the voices in your head. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we took pictures of the wagon, sent a written history of the wagon in, and they either approve it or they don't. And they did. And they did. Thank you. You do a wonderful job here. Thank you. I am very impressed with what you guys are doing. Where are you going next? Uh, Lebanon, Missouri. That's a long way. Well, it's closer to home. Is it really Homemade biscuits right here. That is amazing. Now those will be served with the meals that you're yes. doing here. How many do you make? Uh, we're serving 200 meals today. 200. Bless you. We normally are, you are in the whip. I am the supervisor. I, you know you can tell a supervisor. They we're sit. normally in the competition and each wagon cooks fish. Right, but you're here just to But I am I got contract with the city to cook the old one. Uh, okay. I, I, okay. I approve. <laughs> I want it. Look, let me a couple years in a row. 
I proved I can you cook with them, it. so I, I don't have anything for No, you have nothing for It doesn't bother me not to be in a competition. Hand -hand. I'd like to see that boy over and win, or that yeah. boy over and win. Good for you. That's the mm -hmm. way to do it. We're all buddies. Yeah, I know.